Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation on professional ethics, risk and safety. Firstly, let us look at the two key terms under consideration today, risk and safety. What is risk? The potential that something unwanted or harmful may occur is known as risk. What is safety? Anything is considered to be safe if the risks associated with that event or thing are considered to be acceptable. Now, moving on. Let us look at the effects and types of risk. Let us start with the effects or even consequences of risks. Um, the consequences of risks may be bodily harm, economic loss, poor product quality, resource wastage and environmental harm. Now what are the types of risk? The types of risk are as follows. Acceptable risk. These are risks that people are aware of and deem to be acceptable. Then secondly, we move on to voluntary risk. Voluntary risks are those risks that people willingly take up. For example, you may choose to ride your uh, bicycle without helmet on the road, but that is a risk out that you can easily avoid, but you voluntarily take that risk. Thirdly, we have job risks. These are risks associated with a job a person does. For example, uh, people in the mining industry uh, have to inhale uh, harmful uh, chemicals every day during work. Finally, we have public risk. Now, we have to understand whenever we consider the concept of safety that it is relative. The definition of what is acceptable changes from person to person. Let us consider the miner. The miner goes into the mine very uh, well aware of uh, what sort of risk he is taking. Uh, but the economic opportunities that work in the mine offers is probably not available to him in other avenues. Another example is buying a second-hand washing machine. Some people do not choose to buy a second-hand washing machine because of um, the uh, shorter lifespan of second-hand products, but other people do choose to buy them uh, because of their low economic price point. So as such, the concept of safety is always relative. Now finally moving on, how do we perform risk management or what are the steps involved. Firstly, we identify a problem. Secondly, we analyze the problem such as what caused it or why it happens. Thirdly, we evaluate the importance of a problem. Uh, this would include uh, things such as what are the harmful effects uh, that risk or the problems associated with it cause and how important it is to solve them. Fourthly, we treat the most important problems uh, that affect our businesses or products directly or even the most. Finally, we review the changes that we made to the product or uh, things and we see how much of the risk has been reduced from before. This is an iterator process. This keeps on happening until we are satisfied with the product or reduce the risk and maximize safety. That was all for today uh, about uh, professional ethics, risk and safety. This is Vaishna KS 2162042 from 4BTCI CSAIM. Thank you.